Hey, I want to talk about the MCP, which is the Model Context Protocol by Anthropic, a new way for LLMs to interface with third-party application and services without having to write a bunch of custom interfacing code themselves. I think one great way to highlight the value of MCP is to compare it with function calling. So if you jump to the terminal, you can see here I have two folders, func calling and MCP server. Both of them implement the same application, which is a small interface to my home assistant server here at home and make it available to LLMs. So let's start with the func calling version of that. So you can see this is just a little JavaScript application and I can run it with bun. So this will start a custom CLI that I built and prompts me for, for a command. So now I can say something like turn off the light and this text will go through the OpenAI SDK to OpenAI's LLMs. And I've also specified a function control light as part of that request. And now the LLM is prompting me to also provide an area. And that is because I said to OpenAI, hey, the control light function requires two parameters. And the LLM was smart enough to figure out that it currently does not have a value for the area and parameter. So now it's prompting me for that. So I can say in the office, please. And you can see the light in my office actually turns off and we print out the relevant part of the response from the LLM here. You can see that the LLM responded with a tools call, which includes the name of the function it wants to call and the arguments. So through our conversation, the LLM parsed that information and told me to call this function. So if we jump into the code here in the, in the function calling folder, the index.ts file, we can see I implemented a process command function, which takes the command from the CLI and passes it on to the OpenAI SDK. We also provide the tools that are available to OpenAI. So here we have one function and it's just JSON, right? Like we specify via JSON what functions are available. We specify the parameters, area ID and state, right? They can be on and off. And we say both are required. So if they're not available, don't put in undefined or anything, um, you have to prompt me. And then if you go down again, we can see that once the response from OpenAI comes back, we do have to parse the JSON response ourselves, figure out what function uh, the LM wants to call, and then parse the arguments and call the functions ourselves. So if, if I were the windsurf team or the cruiser team, I would want to connect and interface with as many tools as possible, because that makes my LM more valuable. But having to implement all these different tool interfaces myself, that's not scalable, right? And that's exactly the value of MCP. So if we jump over to the MCP server implementation, you can see that this now gets rid of the CLI code and the LLM code. That's because this is not a standalone LLM app anymore, but just an MCP server. So if we, if we scroll up, we see we are now using the model context protocol SDK and we're using the MCP server here um, and initialize it down here. And then again, we, we tell the server Hey, this is the one function or one of the functions you have available, control light. Here's a description for the LLM, what it does. And here's a schema of the arguments that are required. And this time it's actually done with SART, which I think is really cool. And if the LLM calls the MCP server to call the control light function, then this is the function that will actually be called. So we again have the same business logic here in our server, but this time this is a standalone MCP server and I can reuse it for my own custom LLM application, but I can also plug it into Cruiser or any other LM agent that already supports the MCP protocol. And that's what really makes this so valuable. We can see how this can create an ecosystem of MCP servers. Every tool provider can provide the MCP server, and then all the LLM applications can profit from it. So if here in Cruiser, we go to the settings, you can see there is an MCP tab and I already registered the home assistant uh, MCP server that I just showed you here as an MCP server that is available. And you can see all that is necessary is to give it a name and then an absolute path to where it can find uh, the, the, the script. And in this case, I just want to call it this node. And now if I start a new chat and say something like turn on the light in the office, 
the LM will know that it has the tools available. What I imagine happens in the background, right, is that once we specify the MCP server here to Cruiser, Cruiser does start the MCP server and does an initial exchange as part of the protocol and probably asks what functions are available. Because you can see it already knows here that there is a control light function inside one of the MCP tools. So if we say, yes, please run this tool. And you can see the light already turns on again in my, in my office. And that's really where MCP comes in. We split out the function calling code from the actual LLM application and make it so that function calling code is reusable across different LLM agents. Awesome. I hope this was helpful.